I am going to go out on a limb here and say that aside from scythe locking, Halka Fibrax hasn't been doing anything busted. Will it do anything bisted? Hello everyone and welcome to the September 2022 edition of the Blindfold Ban List Challenge. I am being joined this time around uh, by the mudkip of VTubing, Sarah Hyde, the Axolotl. How are you doing today? So I heard you like Sarah Hyde. <laughs> well, anyway, I wouldn't have you here great. if I didn't, so there we go. I'd be doing, I'd be doing great because, um, let me tell you something. MBT, he did a CSM, tried to meme the ban list, didn't work. Simo made his ban list tweet, tried to meme the ban list in, didn't work. Farfa posted for days upon days upon days, begging for a ban list, it didn't work. I say I'll post feet once and that shit comes out within 30 minutes. So we know where Konami's powerful. mind is at. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah, um, it turns out that Konami of America is headed by whoever drew feet ash. <laughs> All right. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, here's how things are going to work. I currently have this blindfold on. I can see absolutely nothing. Uh, Sarah has a list of the, the real ban list that just came out. It is mm -hmm, peppered mm -hmm. with submissions from fans, fake submissions, and we're going to go from forbidden to limited to semi to unlimited, and for each change, I'm going to guess if that was a real change, if Konami was actually uh, ballsy enough to do those changes, or if they were fake, and they once again decided to keep uh, m Heavy Metal Foes Electromite in the forbidden area like they were supposed to. So, Sarah, do you have anything to say to the audience before we get started? Um, you know, I guess I'll just take this opportunity to introduce myself to those of you who, uh, may not be familiar. I'm Sarah Hyde, I'm an excellent VTuber, variety streamer, I do Yu-Gi-Oh stuff sometimes, therefore this is relevant, and, uh, you know, you should all consider giving me a follow on the Twitch and the Tweetar. So we're gonna start off with, um, one of the more interesting ones I've seen here, actually. And, uh, I think this one might be hard for you, I'm not gonna, like, make it easy to start off with. Good, good. Newly Forbidden, from Unlimited, Ronin Toden. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's a big one. So, for those of you who aren't familiar, one of the big sprite combos is dumping as many um, Swap Frogs and a Ronin Toden into the graveyard, so you can convert those into an easy, uh, totally awesome, which you can then use Sprite Elf to... Uh, get multiple negates in a single turn with. Now it I turns believe into the two omni negates that are also card steals. Exactly. Now I, if I'm remembering correctly, the OCG limited swap frog in response to that. Was that correct? Uh, the first move was to ban Toad, and then they limited swap frog because even without Toad, just the ability to do massive swap frog loops is just generically powerful in and of itself. Like they still did that. They just made different XCs at the end. Wow. Like, they made, I don't know, Gin Buster or some. I don't know what Gin Buster is, Dark Warriors. There's, like, Dark Monsters. And uh, yeah, I don't know what they made, but they made something good, probably. Alrighty, so in the TCG, we're just getting rid of Ronin Toten entirely. Um, I am going to use my, um, my expanding brain here, and I'm going to sniff out that this is a fake change. Um, it sounds like one of the changes you would do to kill the combo entirely, but it does effectively neuter frogs entirely. Like, Ronin Toten is what they use to get their Xyz engine online. Uh, I would almost be... I would almost understand them banning Toad or doing something to limit either Swap Frog or... I guess limiting Ronin Toten doesn't do anything, but limiting Swap Frog. The OCG changes seem pretty good. I feel like Ronin Toten is an overcorrection that someone put in there. Uh, just to mess with me. So I'm going on record and saying that the Ronin Toten change is false. Alright then. Newly Forbidden. And it's been seeing quite a bit of play lately, as you would expect a card that's freshly being forbidden. And let me tell you something. I see a lot of people complaining about the state of the metagame. And yet, they continue summoning this card anyway. Curious! Ooh. The Light Swan Dominion. Oh, Curious being banned. Okay, so that's a, to my understanding, a big tier limit card uh, as just another card that you can send more tier limits from deck to graveyard using their variety of all darks but multi-typed monsters. Um, I, I would agree that this card is getting banned. Curious has been an issue 
for a long time in specific circumstances, not recently, but any deck that wants great graveyard synergies that's just spamming out material for essentially free is going to find a way to abuse Curious. Um, and honestly, I'm okay with limiting the power of the church, so I'm going to say that Curious being banned is true. You know, this is something that a lot of people are asking for. And absolutely insane that this card was ever legal. Imagine it still being legal in any capacity. I'm talking about that gosh damn bitch herself, Fairy Tale Snow. Oh god, um, yeah, yeah, completely. Please get this banned. Uh, it was weird that they brought it back in the first place, but it was a huge mistake. Especially, once again, with Tyr running around, filling their graveyard, like, throwing 10 in there for free, and that's only gonna get worse once the end of the year happens and we get all of the Exchange of Spirit cards. So please, for the love of God, let this be true. I'm saying Snow is back on the, the Forbidden list. Another main deck card. This is actually kind of, um... This is, this is one that I can see the logic behind. Forbidden. Planet Pathfinder. What in the w what? Okay, so I wish this card would be banned in Master Duel specifically because that gets people to dumb Numeron OTK stuff. Um, who in the world is playing Planet Pathfinder to search any field spell nowadays? For I guess there's you know people looking for Mystic Mind stuff, but. If this means that Mystic Mind isn't on the list, then I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> um, I I think Planet Pathfinder is fake because no one was using it at the moment anyway. If I if, if to my understanding, no one was using it, uh, and is just like Mystic Mind adjacent bait. So that's a that's a false for me. All right, one more monster on the forbidden list. Alrighty, this is um another one that I personally saw coming. It's just a very, like, generically powerful card. And, uh, quite frankly, it's quite impressive that, um, Konami of America got around to this before the Progression series did. Konami, they just banned a Chaos Monster. They banned Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon. Oh, that is... Yeah, that's also a hugely, um... Uh, problematic monster. It was problematic w before Tier Limit even showed up, but that's a whole other dark deck that loves Shout milling. Shoutouts to every punk list. And every punk list, exactly. Dragon Link and Punk were already running this card into the ground for a free search and a free way to build up the graveyard that also gave you a gigantic piece of material to use for any rank 8 monster or hot red dragon archfiend abyss. This card, and, and, and it sucks too because there's all those new chaos synchro monsters coming out in Photon Hypernova, but we cannot have this thing sticking around. So please, for the love of God, ban this synchro. I'm believing this is true. We got one trap on, on the forbidden list, nearly added. Mm -hmm. And I think this is like, this card was a mistake and should have never been printed. Like, I, I am honestly super glad to see this card gone. Fuck you, Red Reboot. Ah, see, as someone who absolutely despises trap card decks, I liked having Red Reboot as a free anti-card for that, but... Yeah, on the other hand, uh, it is a card that literally reads you win the game versus a trap deck, and it is, I believe, the only spell speed 3 hand trap in the entire game. Yeah, and I... As much as I personally would like to see it, I do understand how unhealthy it is to just shut that off, because it doesn't just stop Altergeist or Dinomorphias, it also stops any deck trying to use trap cards as a way to interact with your opponent. Uh, shutting off a whole third of the um, card pool for a turn just isn't good for a format. They've already limited this card to my understanding, and it was still being played, so... Yeah, well, I just so I don't know what you're talking about. Um... Uh, uh, completely shutting down a third of the card pool is great. I love the past, like, ten weeks of fucking progression series before they banned IO. It was so good. <laughs> I love it. It's the funnest thing ever. It's an incredibly fun card. Anyway, so yeah, that's why I am pro- And this is probably, like, wrong of me. I'm probably going off of more of, like, my instincts than what will actually happen because they've kept Red Reboot on the list at one for a while now and it seems it weird was, they would yeah. change it now but I am going to go with my heart and say that Red Reboot is now finally banned and no one can shut that off out of the hand for effectively no cost. 
I made the slight error with one of the other guesses, and uh, I skipped past this Link Monster section, forgot this other banned Link Monster alongside our boy Curious. Oh? Another similarly oppressive one, although I would argue for much longer, responsible for many cards being on the ban list, in fact. And I think we can agree this was about time. Krista and Halka Fibrex is taking a much-deserved break um... from being playable. Okay, Halk is weird, right? Because we've already banned Auroradon. So you can't Halk into Auroradon. You can still Halk into a free tuner and then use Halk to make shooting riser dragon it also is it also enables a lot of scythe lock setups with uh TG oh Wonder Magician. right it's also a scythe lock enabler yeah but that. why are we not just banning the scythe then oh god i know that's crazy um It'd be crazy i am going to go out on a limb here and say that aside from scythe locking halka fibrax hasn't been doing anything busted I'm sure it's done some good things, but hasn't anything busted ever since it stopped being an Auroradon ladder? Will it do anything bisted? Um, I am going to go off on a limb here and say that the Halka Fiber Exchange is fake. They are keeping Halky Smalky. You ready to move on to the limits? Okay, that's all the bands? Uh, that is every band. Ah, uh, no! That means Mystic Mine is still in! Anyway, what's that, what's that first limited card? I'm gonna make you um, second guess one of the guesses you previously made with oh. this one. Cause this one, this is one that I feel kind of directly contradicts a guess you already made. Those those are you the see, best ones. You previously guessed that um, that Forbidden Ronin Toten was like one of the japes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what if I told you that Substitute was at one? Why in the world would they ever bring that back? No, that's super fake. I am saying no to Substitute. They would they would never bring that card back. Even with even with Ronin Toad in banned, it still just cycles out your entire deck and fills your grave with stuff. There's got to be a deck that could use that. That no, no, I'm not. So they are both th that was a fake change for Ronin Toten and it's a fake change for Substitute. My my conviction is firm on this. We could both be fake, this is true. Here's one that you may not have considered. Ooh. You might have thought about it as like a, like if someone brought it up, like you'd probably go like yeah, but it probably wasn't something you were necessarily clamoring for. But uh it's an interesting one. How do you feel about at one? Cyberjar. 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 Okay, so this is one of those things that I want to out of hand just dismiss as like a as a as a silly haha -ha change. But they brought Yeah, like change of heart. Yeah, like exactly like change of heart. They did that either last list or the list beforehand. But it was the most recent list before this one uh unlimited change of heart and yada, I believe. Yeah, cuz like so people went crazy over it. So there are old cards that they're for some reason bringing back to limited. Um, I think Noah Jenk has this conspiracy theory that they're bringing those cards off the list to generate like um, BuzzFeed clicks. Um, and if they keep doing shit like this, I have to uh, say that I was wrong about him being wrong. Um, Cyberjar is. I think. Um, I think it's just similar to. A Remember that one format where they arbitrarily bought back Snatch Steel and quickly realized what a mistake they'd God, made? God, yes, I love that format, slash I hated that format. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like they're just trying that again, but being a little smarter about it. I am going to go with what has historically been happening. I don't think Cyber... Despite its effect, I don't think Cyberjar is actually going to see very much play if it is legal. So I am going to say that Cyberjar is, uh, to one, is a real change. Now this is one I actually had to freshly look it up. <laughs> I actually couldn't remember what this card did. Oh, wow. I've never played played the archetype it's from. It's, uh, Blackwing Steam the Cloak. To one. Oh, yeah, to that one. is, that is an unfortunate change if it's true. Um, so... Steam the Cloak was being played at the beginning of Link Era as a card that made a token for free. It's kind of just like a uh, different version of O-Lion, yeah. Um, 
Now they banned O-Lion because it was a tuner you could summon off of Hulk, and I'm pretty sure Steam the Cloak is a non-tuner monster. Um, uh, I will tell you because this is not relevant to like the actual whether or not it's thing or not. Uh, Steam the Cloak is in fact a tuner. Oh, so you? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Um, that allows for link climbing, and like I would out of hand just say no, you're not allowed to bring that back. But Darkwing Blast is right around the corner. And if you wanted to amp up the power of Black Wings, that'd be a good card to do it. The problem is that it boosts every deck that wants to Link Climb. Oh, this is unfortunate. I am going to say that Steam the Cloak is... That is a fake change. They are not bringing it back to one. Especially because... I, uh, especially because I think the Hulk change is fake, but in light of that, if the Hulk change is real, then it would make sense to bring back Steam the Cloaked, and now I feel like an idiot, but to ma maintain consistency, I'm going to say the Steam Cloak change is, um, is, is not true. So, it's funny, there was actually a card you mentioned in that. Uh-huh. That really caught my ear. And it's interesting, because it's actually, it's limited. That's Mecha Phantom Beast o Lion, baby! Oh no, no! They're they uh, they banned Hulk and now they're unbanning all the tuners! Son of a Alright, so first off, we have to unban all the tuner monsters. Shut, sh shut up, Rank Ted! Get out of here! Get out of here, Shape Snatch! Um I I need I need to keep my consistency though. Um if I'm wrong, I'm taking a lot of hits right now. If I'm right, I maintain my consistency on it. Um, the O-Lion change is not real. They did not bring it off the Forbidden List. That's really interesting. Because I have another one here for you. No! <laughs> and as a Madolce player who likes to do some <laughs> spicy tags, this one's quite near and dear to my heart. My favorite level one Earth Tuna. Blow Blow a bulb! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! To one. I told you I would break your mind. Oh my you god! Silly, silly boy. You weren't kidding. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, glow up bulb coming back to one is fake. It's not real. You sound so defeated. <laughs> because I know I am. Oh no, actually, um, oh one that I definitely didn't mention before that I uh briefly forgot about because uh, I definitely didn't accidentally say it earlier. Uh. Try to plant Verti Anaconda to one. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the Verti Anaconda change is fake. They just got rid of it, and for good reason. And I'm not being shown any other changes that would make it seem like Fusion Destiny or any other Fusion card would be less viable. As much as I don't like to say it, because I love Verti Anaconda. But the card is, um, it's staying off the list. It's still forbidden. So, um... You read any good books lately? Just, just, just a question while I uh, sift through this. You know, just a little chat thing. Uh, no, unfortunately, I am a. I keep meaning to read Wheel of Time after Hard Leg Joe brought it up, but I haven't found the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's willing to. And people have been trying to get me to read uh, Gideon the Ninth, which seems like it would be up my alley. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, on the subject of books, Spellbook of Judgment to one. No. Okay, that's so. That is so weird. Because they just made that structure deck in Master Duel. And... Why would they do this? Why would they... Are we on the cusp of seeing the conclusion of the Endymion storyline? Are we going to figure out more Magista stuff? Are they going to hit us with some kind of huge push in a in, in a recent uh, in a future set that's going to finally We're gonna close the loop on this? going to have a card with 200 words on it now. Oh my god, um... Uh, um, okay, so what does Spellbook of Judgment accomplish nowadays? You get to refill your hand with a whole bunch of Spellbook Make cards, which have been... <laughs> plus. I love it, the plus. I'm plusing. I'm plusing here. Oh my god, I'm gonna plus! Um, and you get to summon a spellcaster out of your deck for the one that you brought out. One of those monsters you can special summon is Jaugen, which is an annoying special summon lock. And I wish I could argue against that, but they refuse to hit Winda, so why would it matter if you can access Jaugen too? At least you can run over Jaugen with stuff. Um, 
hey, hey, there's still time. They could have put you out into two. They, you're right. They could have semi-limited the card that you could still special summon off the quick play spell. Sarah, you're a genius. Thank you for saving me from myself. Um, I am going to say that Spellbook of Judgment was a terror card at the time. It provided a ton of advantage. It did a lot of stuff. But I don't think anything is going to make Spellbooks relevant again. So I am going to say that they are bringing Spellbook of Judgment off the list. It is coming back at one. Close. I won't mind seeing less of this, this card because I think its art looks really ugly. A Pointer of the Red Lotus to one. Oh, that's a weird one. I believe people have been playing, playing that often now to just get really dumb uh, like, going second cards out of people's hands for board breakers. Um, I've, I've been saying for a while that a Pointer of the Red Lotus only shows up when formats get really, really bad. When you are so desperate to keep your opponent from playing good going second cards that you will pay 2,000 life points just to take to one of them, them out time. for a single turn. Um... And I think it would suck if Red Lotus got to one because, like, that's my barometer. Red Lotus okay, is my canary in the in the cold one. Sorry, say again. Have you, have you seen the art on that card? It's so fucking ugly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like if uh, they put a Salvador Dali painting uh, in the actual Dali AI generator. Uh, it's, it's actually a just a picture of the least angry Golden Nova viewer. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> Um, I am going to say that that change is false. There's no reason why it should be hit on the list, because it's there to help circumvent dumb stuff the ban list won't get rid of, so... And it seems... And it seems like... No, 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 it's specifically on there because it's seeing play and people are trying to bait me. There's no real reason this should go on the list. This is a fake change. It is still at three. Now for one of the more spicy parts of the ban list. The very use- the most useful thing a card can be at on the ban list. I'm talking about semi-limits. And as Novo's pointed out, like, semi-limiting a card is actually a really useful hit. Insanely good, solves the problem, always a good decision every time, that's exactly what he said. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, that's why everybody in Golven Nova's chat is probably gonna be very happy to learn that we have semi-limited Mystic Mine. Never mind, the semi-limited list was a mistake. Um... You know, to go along with that Planet Pathfinder ban. Why would they do this? Why would I mean, they- Terraforming's at one. I'm gonna- You know, <laughs> Metaverse is at one. I'm gonna front load this and say this is true. And hope to God that they have listened to all of our outrage. That they have looked at all of the very unfortunate uh, top cut feature matches- uh, all of the weird things that people have been doing to win in time because Mystic Mine has f severely warped the format. I'm going to hope that they have taken some kind of change and are giving a, taking away at least one copy of it. So it's a true change, but like, why? Why are you being this lenient with Mystic Mine? That's a really good question. So you've only got, actually got one more semi-limit, you know. Semi-limit list, traditionally not the most populated part of the ban list. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this one, I don't know if I agree with this, but like it's, it's you know, it, it, this is what it's at in Master Duel, so I can see the logic behind it. Called by the Grave to two. Ah, gosh, that's a rough one. So I have always been a fan of Called by the Grave. Uh, because I hate getting my stuff, uh, negated, and I hate that hand traps can be used against me when I'm under the gun, uh, so Called by the Grave always felt like a way to combat that, but it is also one of the only ways for, like, a going first deck to deal with, like, a whole bunch of, like, hilariously powerful hand traps, uh, that lock you down so that the going second player gets the extra card and then gets to pop off. I mean, um, with Vate with back at one, you need something to do with DP. It's not back! It's not back! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, okay. So, 
yeah. So called by the grave you? is in a. Would I lie to you? No. Yes, that's the whole point of the series. <laughs> anyway, so called by the grave is in a weird, a weird place that I feel is kind of the same as like Max C, right? You want to have a card like this in the format to limit the power of top decks, but top decks can use it just as effectively as lower tiered ones. And I think that if Called by the Grave was printed at a higher rarity than common, I might have a different opinion of it. I think a lot of people saying that Called by should come back to higher rarities underestimate its impact because it was a common card and wasn't some kind of giant chase card that ended up being $100 on release. It was absolutely insane that they printed that shit at common, by the way. Super wild. And I think that's where a lot of people get this conception of it being a helpful card for lower tier decks. Because it's, it's like a such a specific, it's such a specific designed card that it feels like it was a secret yeah no it, it if like if cards like forbidden chalice and fiendish chain could be printed when it came out and when they're at the peak of their power at such high rarities why would you let called by the grave be a common right if it wasn't meant for the budget duelist but that is historically not what has happened so i am going to say as much as it hurts me in my heart to say this, called by the grave going to semi limit is not real. That is a fake change. Uh, so we're uh, going with semi limits. What cards yeah, are yeah. now unlimited? I actually mentioned this card because I was actually building up to this one, and like I was putting the seed in your head. Oh no. Nadir servant to three. Hmm. That's um. That would be an interesting change. So, Nadir's Servant has not seen any play for a long time because there have been so many better ways to utilize the Albaz fusion monsters as, um, as grave material. Uh, namely, uh, Mirror Jade. Now, Nadir's let's go, Servant... Let's Branded! Let's go, Branded! Um... Now, of course, Nadir's Servant isn't limited to only sending the Albaz Dragons. You can send any monster, but I yeah, feel... you can send, uh, like, a Skull Knight or an Entis or, uh... Trouble Sunny actually comes up a lot right now. Ooh, that makes sense. Uh, what, what's what's her base stats again? 33? 3,300. Yeah, that's huge. Wait, could... wait, does uh, Nadir actually care about the attack points of the monster? I thought that was, a uh, Punishment that did that. Oh, uh, they both do. Oh, they both do? Okay. Yeah, like, I, I, can't was not I was not playing at peak Dogmatica, so... Hey, good good for you. You missed out on a lot of cheese. Um, I would say that it is totally safe to bring Nadir Servant back to three. It was a, uh, a nuclear option when it first came out because of how powerful the Dogmatica engine was, but that has severely tapered off thanks to Power Creep. So I think Nadir Servant coming back to three makes sense. I'm saying that's a real change. Yeah, I will say my, my personal opinion is that nowadays um, Dogmatica is mostly seen as a very small engine that some people decide to be cheeky and splice into Fluanderies when they're really bored of simply doing M-Pen Turbo parts. Uh, uh, Which I can, I, I can appreciate that. Here's one that my heavy sweating. Oh. Because it definitely... This is one of those ones where uh, one of these has got to be true, one of these has got to be fake. Uh-huh. Fusion Destiny to three. Oh, God. They put Fusion Destiny to two or one. So that being the case, I would say that even without Vert, Fusion Destiny is still such a wildly powerful card that they should... Hey, it's me. I'm Vert. <laughs> hey, guys. It's me, Vert. <laughs> Vert and Ernie, the new uh, show on PBS. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I don't think giving us more copies of Fusion Destiny is healthy at all, especially because DPE was not anywhere else on this list. They didn't stop the, uh, grape-flavored Dryden from doing its thing. They so... didn't even, like, do the very clear, obvious ban that absolutely ruins the card in banning Celestial, e like the oh-so-intelligent Master Duel ban list. Exactly! Now what are you gonna do? Play Plasma, idiots? Um, so... Yeah, do play Denio. <laughs> Who could have any use for a free special summon? Absolute fools. Um, so I'm gonna say that giving us more copies of Fusion Destiny is not in the cards. That is a fake change. We're gonna take a quick deviation from the spells and go straight to the traps. Because mm -hmm. there is an unlimited trap here. Wall of Revealing Light. <sighs> Wall of Revealing Light. Wall of Revealing Light. 
Yeah, Wall of Revealing Light. Wall, Wall of Revealing, Revealing Light. light. There Wall is... of Revealing Light. Wall of Revealing Light. Um, it's currently at one. <laughs> Why would? Actually, they... no. Wait, was it at one? I thought it was at two. I one. Wait, no, two... I have the. I, I can look at. Uh, I can. I can just check old lists of stuff. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it was, uh, it was semi-limited. I, I just checked. It was, does that mean that they've been slowly bringing that, because I swear it was at one a while ago. It was at one for a while. Um, okay, like, well then, if that's one. the case, then that means that Wall of Revealing Light Change is, like, one of those predic, like, um, changes that have been presicate, presicated. I don't know words, I can't see. If I can't see, I can't say words. Um, they've been, true. if they've been quarantining it off the limited list, then I guess it makes sense. The there are some decks that will, of course, some gimmick decks that will, of course, take advantage of this. Uh, people looking to draw four off of Hope to Escape. People who want to jumpstart their Dino Morphia combos by setting themselves to, like, 200 life points by paying 7,000 or something. It's Dino Morphing time. Oh, man, I love it when Wall of Revealing Light was flipped and it said, it's revealing time and it revealed all over its opponent. Um, so, sure, heck it. If that's the case, I think Wall of Revealing Light is back to three. Can you name me some Cartoon Network TV shows that you just know off the top of your head real quick? Oh, God. I love Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Uh, I okay, love Grimmie, Richard, Billy, and Mandy. Ca Courage the Cowardly Dog. Uh, Codename mm -hmm, Kid mm -hmm. Next Door. Uh, yep, those it... kids really do be doing some pranks. No! Though. No! Uh, yes! Yes! And Say that's it. why Say I'd it. like to talk about a really good uh, Cartoon Network television show called Ben 10, which they named the Cyber oh. Angel after, who is now oh. unlimited. <laughs> Cyber Angel Benton, two, three. Yeah, yeah, sure, Benton can come back to three. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Whatever. I'm kicking hopes up. And then... But do you believe it's real? Um, Benton, they brought it back to two recently after they had limited it a while ago, and I don't see a reason why they wouldn't also uh, quarantine that off the list. Uh, Drytron has been effectively power crept. Maybe a third Benton will help with that, but. I mean, it will, like, help with them making other ritual monsters, I guess. That's about it. Yeah, uh, so... Ava is still banned, which is the... Yeah, that's the, the card main... that can go to hell. I don't care. Ava, that's Ava's the, stupid. That's the forever ban. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I hate. But, yeah, um, I will I will agree that Ben 10 is, is at 3. So, anyway, when I was talking about those kids and their pranks, I actually wasn't quite done. And, um... Nova, how do you feel about animals? Um, they're, they're cute like, and cuddly, um, um... Like, yeah. like, um, like cats. What noise does a cat make? Uh, meow. Okay, can, we, can you say that again? Uh, nya. Okay, now what noise does a cow make? Uh, moo. Meow, moo. Meow, moo. Huh. Oh, that reminds me! Uh-huh. They just unlimited shooting Ryza Dragon. I am going to exp... <laughs> <laughs> um, this is so they fun. limited. Fun. You gotta get me on this more often. <laughs> they they hit shooting riser for no reason, and I it guess was, like very specific Halk list that ran it. I am play. going, and I'm gonna say this is probably because Halk is. Even though I messed this up early, and I'm gonna get all these wrong for it. If it's true that Halk is banned then it feels like Shooting Riser would be a change that they would make, even though they shouldn't have done it in the first place. So I'm going to say the Shooting Riser change is true. Even though it's technically not consistent with the other changes, they never should have hit Riser the way they did anyway, because they didn't actually mm -hmm. ban it. So it's a true change. Do you know what else is true? What? Dracos. Dynamite Knight to three. They've been, they've been getting Dynamite Knight more slots recently. Um... I don't see a reason why it can't come back. I I hate dueling this deck, but you know I will fight to the death. It's right to uh, activate a trap card right out of the deck whenever I activate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything, new, new best so. deck from the um new best deck best deck for whatever the next uh, festival is in Mustard. Yeah, certainly. So, go ahead, bring Dynamite Knight back to three. It's okay. That's also oh, I can't change. think of a single. I can't think of why activating a trap from. The deck is like such a good idea. I can't think of any upcoming cards in Magnificent Mavens that can do that exact thing. Mm -mm. Now, I've been tricking you a lot here. Oh yes, you have. You've been delighting in every second of it. I have been delighting in every second of suffering with these tricks. And in fact, I'd say I'm quite good at it. And at this point, a lot of your community knows me as somebody who tricks you. 
You could even say that I'm the star of Trick It, which is why I'm pleased to announce that the final on Limit is Trickstar Light Stage 2-3. Ah, uh, that was one that they put it two as well, I believe, because I remember that there were sprite lists running uh, the the level two trick star as like a, yeah, as an you, extender, um, which is really yeah, you played it against me for fucking Medolce test, <laughs> which I didn't know until I got the list in my hand. It surprised me just as much as you. Um, yeah, shit's level two, baby. And uh, Sprite is my favorite deck because it's just like remind collectively reminding Yu Gi Oh which random ass cards from the past were level two all along. <laughs> mm, wind up cat, delicious. Yo. Meanwhile, in the OCG, they were like, "Oh, the funny Earth insect is a level two monster. Oh, Swap Frog can bounce it back to hand. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um, Anyway, Max uh, C is like still at three in japan That's i fun. i don't know how they handle playing Yu-Gi-Oh over there i mean they don't have to deal with mystic mine you never never mind you're right um so my my stance is that light stage coming back to three is uh is valid i think that's a, a real change well all right um i believe that's the whole list all right uh oh my eyes ah oh, the the lights holy cow uh, okay the all right uh, i'm pulling up the list Okay, um, Snow being banned. I got that one, so we're good on that. <laughs> Ronin yeah. Toten being banned. I got that wrong. Hell no. <laughs> How yeah. can Fibrax? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get my phone back in a second. <laughs> okay, Chaos Rule the Counting Magical Dragon. Got that right. Uh, Red Reboot. Good got that off. right. Newly limited. And the limit. Uh, okay. Steam the Cloak, O-Lion, and fucking Substitute, really? Okay, whatever. Fucking, you can be stupid. And they did no, hit did, a pointer? Did... What the? Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Also, uh, we did throw in, um, Glow Up Bulb as a, uh, fake one just to catch you out in case you caught up on oh. what was actually happening. Okay, so at least I got a point for that one. That's, that's Yes, cool. yes, you did successfully stick to your guns there. Okay. So, Steam I got wrong, O-Line I got wrong, Substitute I got wrong, Cyber Jar I got right, Judgment I got right, Wild, but I'm so mad they limited a pointer of the Red Lotus. So wrong. mine yeah, is three, still untouched! Okay, what?! Why?! To be clear, they did not ban Mystic Mine. <sighs> oh, only am I mad at Konami because I now have to post my feet on main. Uh, I'm also mad at them because I have to deal with Mystic Mine for another format. Okay, so Dynamite Knight I got right, Ben 10 I got right, Shooting Riser mm -hmm. I got right, Trickstar and Light Stage I got right, I yep, got yep. Nadir Servant right, Uh huh. I was wrong about Fusion Destiny, why would you give us more copies of that? So, th the format we can expect moving forward, Um, the Mystic Mine is still going to be a problem. Tier best deck. Tier wasn't hit at all, as far as I can see. Uh, Sprite took a pretty hit significant hit because they don't longer have Ronin Totem to make free totally awesomes. They're still going to use Swap Frog as just, like, a general, like, uh, engine for some things, I feel. There's still pro stuff you can do with just Swap Frog and stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, oh, oh, Tier no longer has, uh, Snow, so that's their hit, but yeah, that's, like, that's such a hit that they should have had in the first place, so it's... Yeah, that whatever. one hit is Snow. Oh, and Chaos uh, Ruler, okay, and, Chaos and, Ruler. And Chaos Ruler also does, does hit them. Yeah, um, so that's all of that. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what kind of Spellbook stuff happens in the next few days, um, see if they actually... Uh, I, some... somebody said in the chat that Jeff Leonard has already come up with a Spellbook Runic Sprite deck. Yes, yes! The Jeff is still among mine? us. Can they please ban mine? Can they please just, just ban mine? All right. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for uh, watching. Thank yeah, you, Sarah, no, for great. joining here. Uh, and uh, fuck Mystic Mine. <laughs>